Hello, this video is about the Arduino Moto Shield and its pins. The Arduino Moto Shield's pins are inserted into the respective pins of the Arduino microcontroller. The Arduino Moto Shield is designed to drive two DC motors. Its operating voltage is from 5 volts to 12 volts. Its max current per channel is 2 amps. It is calibrated for 1.65 volts per amp. There is also a free running stop and brake function. The shield must be powered by an external power supply. A USB connection would not be able to support high power needs. External power can be supplied by an adapter connected to the Arduino microcontroller or by connecting wires to the V-in and ground screw terminals on the shield. To avoid possible damage to the Arduino board, the recommended voltage range is from 7 volts to 12 volts. If voltage is above 9 volts, the recommendation is to cut the V-in connect jumper on the back side of the board. The absolute limit for the V-in at the screw terminals is 18 volts. The V-in terminal provides power for both the shield and the Arduino microcontroller. If the V-in connect jumper is cut, then the V-in terminal will only supply power to the DC motor. The ground terminal on the shield is ground for both the shield and the microcontroller. The shield has two channels called A and B. Each channel controls one DC motor. The respective direction pins for channel A and channel B are D12 and D13. The respective pulse width modulation pins for channel A and channel B are D3 and D11. The respective brake pins for channel A and channel B are D9 and D8. The respective current sensing pins for channel A and channel B are A0 and A1. If you don't need the current sensing pins or the brake pins and you need more pins for your application, then you can cut the respective jumpers on the back of the shield. The screw terminals are used to connect the DC motors and their power supply. There are two white Tinkerkit connectors for two analog inputs, which are connected to pins A2 and A3. There are two orange Tinkerkit connectors for two analog outputs, which connect the pulse width modulations for pins D5 and D6. There are two blue Tinkerkit connectors for the TWI interface, one for input and the other for output. You can drive two brushed DC motors by connecting the two wires of each one in the positive and negative screw terminals for each channel A and B. In this way, you can control its direction by setting high or low the direction A and direction B pins. You can control the speed by varying 
the pulse width modulation A and pulse width modulation B duty cycle values. The break A and break B pins, if set high, will effectively break the DC motors rather than let them slow down by cutting the power. You can measure the current traveling through each DC motor by using the analog read function on pins A0 and A1 respectively. The Arduino motor shield is 2.7 by 2.1 inches and it has four holes so it can be mounted onto surfaces.